Well, Jamie, I mean, this is very much an unprecedented uh, military exercise. I, I don't use that word lightly. It is the largest air drill uh, that NATO has ever carried out. Uh, in its history, we know that 250 aircraft are involved from 25 different countries, 10,000 military personnel. It is a very, very strong show of force in the sky from NATO, uh, as you said, very much centred around this notion of deterrence and trying to send a strong message uh, that an attack on one is an attack on all. We know the, the principle behind all of this is rehearsing what NATO would do in the event of Article 5, which is considered an attack on one country, how the entire alliance would respond as a whole. Some of the specific things that NATO will be doing will be uh, running through drills on how to defend troops from the air, um, airborne battles against enemy jets, the interception of medium and long-range missiles by NATO bombers, anti-submarine warfare, and interestingly, Jamie, one uh, tactic which was added quite late at, uh, at the planning stage, we understand, which is how to evacuate an airfield. We're told that was because of those scenes that we saw in the fall of Kabul. Clearly something didn't go right there, or something went very wrong uh, based on how that evacuation went in, in quite poor fashion. So NATO trying to work on its skills there. But look, a huge day, really, for the military in Europe. We are expecting some flight disruptions across Germany because all of this. The military is telling passengers that if they're concerned about that to contact their airline, but they're doing their best to minimise any air traffic disruption. How much has the war in Ukraine uh, played a role in uh, the planning of these uh, military drills? Well, look, on paper, uh, they're not linked. This is an exercise which is five years in the making. It was first conceived back in 2018. But, of course, Europe was a very different place in 2018 before we saw that conflict in Ukraine. So there is a very real understanding, certainly amongst leaders uh, in the military and also politicians which have been commenting, that they know that military planners, not just within NATO, are watching all of this very closely, but also further to the east in uh, in Moscow. Um, we know as well uh, that there's been some pretty strong words uh, said by several Western officials, including the US ambassador to Germany, Amy Goodman, who said that these exercises uh, send a very strong message that without a shadow of a doubt, NATO will defend every inch of its territory uh, and it will uh, dispel any myths or, or concerns that there might have been about the agility and swiftness of the alliance, saying that NATO is ready to respond very, very quickly should it ever come under attack. Okay, Trent, thank you for that. Our correspondent, Trent Murray, in Berlin.